traffic control. This is Alpha 254. Request for clearance for departure. Roger that. Start clear. Proceed to runway 5. <laughs> If anyone is to blame for these events, Mr. Thornton, it is you. Alpha Protocol began here, after all. They drugged me? Great. Now I'm gonna fail the next drug screening test. They could have just asked me to close my eyes. Static's a good look for you. So? Thank you. If flattery is your only weapon, you'll need a gun. And fast. Well, I don't want to wear out my welcome. All the more reason to leave. And how do you propose to do that? You're locked in. There's a guard outside. Eventually, he's going to come check on you. And when he does... I'll think of something. Let me check the room. There's got to be another way out. All right, then. Don't take too long. The door's locked down, but you might be able to find a way to break the glass. In case of emergency... Sleeping Beauty's had enough. That you, Mike? You just hold on. I'm sending some guards to tuck you back in. Mike, careful. They probably... 
probably have a guard in the lobby. Watch out for cameras. If they spot you or you destroy them, they'll sound an alarm. Interesting. Gave me the slip. Now we got you. Sign of our new arrival? No sign of him yet. Careful, Mike. Truck coming in. And guards at the exit. Try to stay out of sight if you can.
end of the line, Mike. Give it up. That's enough. I think that's my line. What the hell's going on? Why did you drug me? We need to keep the location of this facility confidential. Especially if you got kidnapped and questioned. Is this place hidden? Very. Not only does this place not exist, but places that think they know about this place, well, they don't exist either. That's a little... confusing. <laughs> Hell of a lot easier than politics. Let me guess. You're not done hazing me yet. Yep. I'm gonna ask you some questions, run you through some more tests, then you and I can talk. Face to face. That make you feel better? It depends on the tests, I guess. Well then I guess it depends on how you do on the test then. Starting with this one. I've been reading and rereading your dossier. Although with your experience, it's more like a pamphlet, fresh out of Langley. We had to wipe behind your ears before shipping you over. I think I've got potential, sir, and I'm anxious to prove it. We'll see. If you gain more experience in the field, you may want to specialize further. But we can leave that until you've got some missions under your belt. That's it. Now I'm going to let you out of the pin here and meet the rest of the crew. I'd prefer an assignment, not a meet and greet. How about you earn it first? And that means following orders, got it? The rest of the crew will take it from here. They'll be running you through the basics of weapons, gadgets, and espionage tactics. When you're cleared on the basics, come find me for your assignment. I won't lie to you, Mike. It's a big one, and dangerous. But I think you're the man for the job. Make the rounds. I'll see you soon. Great. Just like high school. Take some tests, then chat with the guidance counselor about my future. Big ass screen. No weapons past this point. probably want 
about to change. Orientation's not mandatory. You can turn around and go back to Westridge right now. Although that might make him upset. You might want to take it a little easier when you escape next time. Mikey, be with you in a moment. I'm just setting some things up here. I'm Sean Darcy. I'm going to be running you through tech orientation. Good to meet you, Agent. What do you need me to do? We'll be firing up the exercise in a second. For now, just stand there and be quiet, Mikey. Shouldn't be much longer. And here we go, green light. I'm glad you finally showed up. Thought you might have gotten lost on the way here. Or we're too busy beating up some more guards. This isn't the only orientation I have to take, Agent. I arrived as quickly as I could. Yeah, sure. Oh, by the way, not a good idea. Hitting the guards, I mean. The ones here have a lot of time on their hands, and that means a lot of time to hold grudges. I'll keep that in mind, but I wasn't expecting to be drugged and attacked. A good agent's ready for anything, Mikey. But enough chit-chat. We got a lot of work ahead of us. Well, you do. I'm mostly here as an observer. I'll be doing your evaluation, too. What's that out there? A used car lot? A target range for you. For me, more like a shooting gallery. Head out the door there and we'll get started. All right, then. Open the locker and equip yourself. If you use them all, just come back and grab some more. All right, everyone's favorite. Grenades. Let's see that arm of yours. Go on, start checking them. They're concussion rounds, so don't be skittish. They sting, not kill. Something more challenging. Try a ricochet to hit the target behind the wall. Lob it behind the target and use the wall for a hook shot. Now, try and get one through the window. Now for some fireworks. Try and chuck one beneath the truck and take out the gas tank. Ah, never get tired of that one. Now, see that electronic lock there? Use your EMP grenade to shut it down. It can save you time in the field.
See that locker there? Well, let me guess. You want me to place one on the door? Nice. And just in time. Hey, guards, open up. Guess some of the other guards will be pulling double shifts for a while. Know those guards you beat up when you got out of medical? Yeah, well, they're gonna be joining us in a second. You've got a head start, so if I were you, I'd set an ambush or just start running. Me, I'd use the mines. That's what they're for. Let's get the first shot at them. Straight out, watch for devices. Hey, Sarge! Straight out, you wanna talk to you? Bastard. Doc's gonna be pissed. All right, all done. Head on up, Mike. I'll give you a breakdown on your performance. So, Mikey, you did all right on the basic run. You know, that performance wasn't half bad. Almost as good as my record. How about we up the stakes? Take this to the big leagues. What do you have in mind? All right, me and the guards, who you already met when you woke up, pooled our petty cash, and we'd like to make you a little bet. All right, I'm listening. It's a rematch, on our terms. It's simple. Disable all the alarms and escape the area in the time provided, and you take on the winnings. If you lose, you'll owe us. Got it? Sounds good to me. Just head into the range and we'll get to it, Mikey. All right, then. Tell your team to get ready. So you... We are rematch for you and the guards, but on their terms. So listen up. There's alarms hidden all over the course. All you need to do is shut them down. But the guards are going to try and reset them. Every time an alarm goes off, another squad's coming in. And they all want a shot at you, trust me. Alarm goes off enough times, and you're going to get trampled. But... You have the technology to beat them, so let's see even the odds, if you can. Second, guess I was wrong. All right, head on up and I'll call someone in to clean up the course and the bodies. Pretty thorough. Made a real mess of things in a good way. That's all I need. See you in the field, Darcy. If you say so, Mikey. This is a restricted area. The vending machines are down the hall and to the right. I may be new to this, but not that new. Don't you have interns for that? No, we don't. You're Michael Thornton, Westridge's candidate. Hopefully, yes. It was a lot like the Untouchables route. 
I was fresh out of basic. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm familiar with the reference. You were chosen not because of skill or experience, but because you're under the radar of most intelligence agencies. Flattering. Now, obviously, Westridge sees potential in you. Let's see if it's earned. So, orientation. You are familiar with the premise of an obstacle course, I assume? I am, and I'd ease up on that attitude. This exercise is bullshit, and I don't like jumping through hoops any more than you do. Fine. At least you're to the point. Up the ladder is the training area. The first test is navigating through the environment without being detected. Following that, you'll be facing live challenges against the agents here. Anything else I should know about running this course? Yes. I suggest you do it quickly. And talking gives your position away. What's the deal with the security panel? It secures the entrance. If you're as capable as Westridge says, then you should have no trouble hacking it and gaining access to the course. Clock's ticking. Great. Course begins now. Hack the door in front of you to gain access to the course. Always check your surroundings for cameras. We can't have you appearing on the nightly news. Mind the gap. The key to stealth is timing. Pay attention to camera movements, then exploit their blind spots. Your score is based on several factors. Sorting the numbers now. Outstanding. Well above average. Especially for a trainee. Okay. Do you want to run it again? No, I don't think so. Very well, I'll log the results. Westridge can complete your evaluation once you finish the other tests. Did I do much better than the other recruits? You're the first raw recruit we've gotten since Alpha Protocol started. Then it wasn't too bad, I guess. It felt a little easy, but... Of course, not enough of a challenge for you? No. Then I have an assignment for you. This one won't be locked. What? You mean like a covert training op? Aren't you guys carrying orientation too far? Nothing of that Alpha Protocol is orientation, Agent Thornton. Despite the semantics. The penalty for getting caught, however, won't be a poor score. It'll be detention. So... Are you up for it or not? Well, I'm up for it. Let me see what you need. You want me to head back to the medical center? Why? What's the file name? Jacob. Not only will this be a much more practical use of your talents, but I think you'll be curious to see where in the world you're going to be sent. Any other intel I should be aware of? Nothing you can't find out on your own. We aren't even having this conversation right now, and the clock is running. Got it.
interesting. I've got movement here. Did you do as I asked? Got the data, no problem. I'll download it from your PDA. Were you seen? Not that I know of. Yeah, well, then that'll have to be sufficient. Now that you have this file, huh? Anything you can tell me about my real assignment? You go into the Middle East to recover stolen prototype missile technology. Your probability of success is in the lower 20th percentile. Uh, wait, I'm going to the Middle East? I've downloaded intel onto your PDA. That should prove useful when you reach your destination. Well, thanks. I appreciate it, Parker. We're exchanging favors, Agent. We're even. And that's an important lesson in our line of work. So when am I shipping out? After you finish your orientation with Westridge, it's customary for him to outline, in his slow and plodding way, his expectations for you. Then he'll send you to fetch, like a good dog. So you get to stay in the kennel, then? Yes. An apt comparison, Agent. And if I were you, I would relish my time on the outside for as long as possible. All right. Was there anything else? What do you actually do here? My primary role is intelligence analysis. But at times, I serve as a handler during sensitive missions. So you've been on a lot of Alpha Protocol Ops? Key ones, yes. I was involved in the events leading up to your assignment, in fact. How? I took on the role of a contractor, an accountant. Money is one of the easiest ways to track events. It often leaves the best fingerprints. So you're a spy? Mm, I'm an observer. I rarely take action. But the smallest event, if analyzed incorrectly or acted on improperly, could have great repercussions. And that's where I come in. To interpret events. Like butterfly wings sparking a tornado? That kind of thing? Spare me the butterfly cliché. 
guerrilla actions, nuclear tests, exposing a corrupt politician, a rise in grain prices, and yes, the downing of an airliner in the Middle East. All of these things have the potential to create larger catastrophes. Okay. Controlling the repercussions of these events, getting agents the information they need to put fires out before they rage out of control, that is my job. So when I'm in the field, my orders come from you or another analyst. My job is what? To listen? Yes. It's a numbers game. But decisions must be made quickly. If the decisions are solely reactive or passive, well, then you operate at a disadvantage. So sometimes you create events. For political equilibrium, yes, at times. At other times, to give America an economic advantage. I thought we were mostly mission-driven. We are. But even you will see the effect that even seemingly minor interactions have on the structure of a mission. Carry the logic one step up, and it shouldn't be hard for you to grasp. What else do you do here aside from analysis? Whatever is needed. You know, I actually thought you were the janitor when I arrived. That would either be an insult or an excellent deduction. I'm guessing the former. I was actually just trying to make conversation. But why would that be an excellent deduction? Because, Agent, Alpha Protocol can only maintain plausible deniability as long as no one knows we exist. That means continually cleaning and scouring data, masking our communication lines, and protecting our global positioning. I understand. That must be a full-time task, and an important one. Agreed. Even Westridge would say I hold the most important post in the facility. So, in short, yes, I clean up after others, and if necessary, I'm the one tasked with shutting this program down. Shutting it down? Turning off the lights, putting up the chairs, locking the door. What does that mean, exactly? This place cannot be found. If Alpha Protocol is compromised, any evidence of the program must be deleted. But what happens to the... I mean, is there an escape route, or... What happens? What do you mean, Agent? Be specific. I dislike dancing around an issue if one exists. What happens to the program? Seems like a waste of resources. You are correct. If ended, it starts again under a different name, with a new agenda. You sound like you've done this before. If I have, it's classified. Or perhaps I'm joking. Are we done here, Agent? I think I've answered all your questions. Some of them, yeah. The others can wait. Hello? Anybody shooting in here? Agent Thornton. Hello. Hey. Hey, you're the one I spoke to when I woke up in the medical bay. <sighs> Glad that wasn't a hallucination. It may have been. Do you remember my name? Or do I need to write it down for you? Mina, right? That's right. Good to see you've recovered from the medical room with your memory intact. Memory intact? Speaking of which, I don't remember where I left my keys. Or my passport. Confiscating personal items is quite routine. I wouldn't worry about that. But let's get down to the task at hand. I'm here to run you through the weapons training and test your accuracy. Sounds great. Are you serious? Absolutely. I excelled at the academy. This should be fun. Well, all right. Usually I get a lot of resistance to the training exercise. Or a comment from new recruits about how their guns check out. And then they flex. It's pretty tiresome. Oh, guns. Right. So, where do I go now? Just head through the door to the firing range, and I'll keep in contact with you over the earpiece. Head over to the table, get your weapons, and we can begin. The standard field agent package includes a pistol, SMG, shotgun, and assault rifle. Each has its strengths and weaknesses. Let's start with the pistol. Equip the pistol, then aim down range and take some shots at the target. Good aim. Now, steady your aim for a few seconds, then fire. Precision shots can take down a target quickly. Now, let's move on to the submachine gun. 
Now let's empty the clip. Let you get a feel for the recoil. Now take cover. Still using cover, take some shots at the target. Accuracy is terrible while firing blind, but it can get the job done, eventually. Now try popping out and focusing your aim. You can use cover to your advantage here. I've unlocked the door to the tactical range on your right. Let's see how you do against some moving targets. Now, with the pistol, you'll want to be patient and attack when targets get close. Submachine guns. If you're trapped in close quarters with multiple opponents, the SMGs can help clear the room quickly. Not subtle or quiet, but. And that's enough. For long range encounters, the assault rifle's the key. It's accurate, powerful. Just be sure to line up your shots carefully. Watch for attackers from above. They may be out of reach, but not rifle range. That's it. Take the ladder, head up and back. All done. Good, Mike. I'm logging the results now. All right. Is somebody out on the course? Darcy. He's trying to beat your time. He is? And here I thought we were going to be such good friends. As soon as he knew you were talking to me, Mike, he was in here in a second. In case he saw you as a challenge for my... affections. It's like a cage match with you boys. Am I? A challenge, I mean. If you have to ask, Thornton... Then there's your answer. All right, let's see here. It'll do. Satisfactory enough for Westridge, I think. You can give it another run if you want. The course should be free. Well, I'll pass. Very well, I'll log your score. I'll have the results sent to your handler, and Westridge can give the rest of your evaluation, provided you've completed the other tests. You guys must have spent a fortune on the TVs in this place. You all done? You tell me. Now you're learning. I have to admit I was worried whether we'd be able to keep you here after you woke up in medical. 
You gave our staff a run for its money. I can't let you train me if I don't put you through the paces, too. Fair enough. It'll be a good excuse to up the morning drills around here. Looks like you did well on the tech portion of the test. Very well. Past Darcy's bitching, there's some real compliments in here if you look at the numbers. Mina's report says you might need more practice on the gun range, but you're probably still shaking off the drugs we gave you. I'm still brushing up on my skills. Mina's a good teacher. I just need to be a better student. She is a good teacher. She has a good eye for potential. I'll let her know your thoughts. And here's a surprise. A positive evaluation from Parker. On the number side as usual. But he actually took the time to write a sentence. He did? Uh, what was the sentence? You may have been right about this one, Westridge. For Parker, that's high praise. Assuming you don't let us down, Mike. Looks like that's it for the physical evaluation. Now for the hard part. Tell me why you're here. Not everyone gets chosen for this line of work, but you volunteered. Usually, we have to ask. You ever had an intern position at a government agency? I have. Need I say more? All my exercise was moving papers from desk to desk. I'm here to do work, not sit back and manage it. I want to be out where the action is. I want to make a difference. What makes you think you're ready? Because I tell you, we get a lot of recruits in here, and you're not convincing me. I get an opinion? Or is that a rhetorical question? All right, let me be more specific. Beyond the guns, tech, and sneaking around in the dark, there's one last part of this job that nobody else here quite gets. I'm listening. Good, because listening is a large part of it. The way you talk to people, your attitude. That's what we're going to discuss now. If you're telling me I have an attitude problem, then you could have read that in my file. No, believe it or not, you're not here because you're a people person. You're here because your psych profile says you're skilled at manipulating others. Was that a compliment? You'll see. The way you project yourself definitely affects what people think of you, and your reputation with them. What do I care what others think? You shouldn't. Having a bad or good rep with someone can actually gain you different benefits. Sometimes you want to piss someone off so they can't think straight. Other times you want to build a strong rapport with someone and talk your way out of a bad situation. All depends on your objective. This goes for your handlers as well. We're going to be sending you into a lot of dangerous places. And your only backup is going to be who you're talking to on your headset. How you treat them is going to have an effect on the success of your mission. So if I piss them off, I'm screwed? No. A handler that likes you too much and puts emotions before the mission can be just as dangerous as one who resents you. This is a long way of telling me that I should just act the way I want? I don't have time to chat when there's work to be done, and it sounds like it'll just leave me vulnerable if I go down the wrong road. No, again, there are no bad choices, just results. Over time, folks may hear about you and your attitude before they meet you. They may have a preconceived notion of how you're going to treat them, which can affect their reaction. Well, maybe they should take the time to know the real me. If only. Time's something no one seems to be able to spare, especially during a conversation. Although that can be a plus. I don't see how. The clock doesn't stop when you're speaking to someone. So if you need to get your second win before a fight... Making small talk can buy you time. But if I'm running on adrenaline, won't chatting take me off my guard? It can. So if you need to get to the point, act instead of fight. For example, if you don't think I have any more to teach you, then you could just say, I'm done with this. I wouldn't think any less of you. You seem to have the basics down. Why wouldn't I just shoot someone instead of talking to them? Sometimes it is better if you shoot first. Still approaching someone to talk to them can allow you to get the drop on them if you get close enough to strike. Use it if you have to, if the conversation isn't going your way. Assuming there's even a way you want the conversation to go. So how do I know what provokes someone? I'd rather rattle them if I can. If that's what you want to do, pay attention to the clues in your environment. Sometimes people will have advice, and intel can help. But there's another way. Read much? Well, I read the recruiting pamphlet. Got me this far. There's a host of information out there through dossiers, email, and other documents that represent total research others have collected on a target, organization, or operation. And what does that get me, exactly? Sometimes you'll spot obvious triggers. People who don't respond well to smart asses like me. Others who respect loyalty, duty, a professional approach. Others who don't have time for bullshit and like it when you get to the point. But dossiers just don't contain psych information. 
They'll usually have combat information on your target as well. What side they favor, any past injuries, common weapons or tactics they use. Some of it blunt, some of it subtle. But if push comes to shove, it can give you an edge in combat. The more you've done your homework, the more vulnerable they'll be. Makes sense to me. I'd rather get a firefight over with as quickly as possible. Amen to that. Our records are complete, so use them when you have downtime. You have dossiers on everyone here? Yep, if you can dig them up. You might learn a few things. Sometimes reading a dossier will give you more options when dealing with others. A few facts to bring up, to shake secrets loose. What about you? You should already know what makes me happy, Mike. And what pisses me off. At what point can I start accessing personnel records and conducting surveillance? After meeting a target or hearing their name referenced by someone else, you should have a target ID. Then hop onto the database and start doing your homework. You can usually unlock their basic information at that point. Let's start with a simple one. al Samad. That should be familiar to you. The terrorist group? Yes, you can research groups as well as people. It doesn't carry the same benefits, but it can provide useful intel in the field. Talking to people about others is a good way to help gain dossier information. Sometimes people will have information on someone that can unlock a brand new thread in your computer search. Okay, so I've suffered through your interrogation. and know how to give one if need be. Am I ready or not? We'll see. Meet me in the command center, and I can give you a proper mission briefing. Good, because I'm sick of this room. Trust me, Mike. If it was up to me, you'd never see this interrogation cell again. Recognize him? That Sheikh Ali Shaheed, the voice of Al Samad. They say he was responsible for shooting down that airliner in the Middle East. Yeah, he got his hands on some prototype Halbeck technology. A missile with a multi stage targeting system called Jacob's Ladder. That airliner was his first target. But how did Shaheed get his hands on that missile? Missiles. He's got more. He stole them from Halbeck, and we need them back before he gets any more trigger happy. Then we want you to kill him. About time I'm getting tired of this place. All right, then. Pack your gear. You're heading to Saudi Arabia. Not coming with me? I'll be there in spirit. And on video and radio when needed, Agent. And I just got here. Oh, well. I'm gonna miss this place. I doubt it. I'll contact you when you reach Saudi Arabia. Care to explain how Halbeck lost its missiles? Old news. An accounting error. The missiles. You didn't lose them, did you? Angry, Mr. Thornton? Because of what happened in Saudi Arabia? Mike, can you read me? I'm getting lots of interference. Reading you loud and clear. Where can I find Shahid? It's a little more complicated than that. It's gonna require some groundwork, and lots of it. Good to see you're eager to get started. Finding Shahid is your primary objective. Trouble is, we don't know his location. But we have three leads. An arms dealer, Nasri, is believed to have sold the missiles to Shahid, and he's currently operating in Saudi Arabia. If you can intercept him, maybe he can tell you where Shahid is, or guide you to the missiles. Do we have anything else on Nasri? Nothing more than what's in his dossier. If you can manage to make any contacts and find out more, we'd welcome it. We also tracked down the location of an airfield Shahid used in the past. If you can sneak in and plant a listening device, we may be able to track flight Shahid is using to move through Saudi Arabia. And the third lead? We've got the coordinates of an al Samad detention camp, also used as a stockpile for weapons. We suspect the missiles may be stored there. Any backup, sir? Just Darcy on the comm. Any backup, sir? Funny, Mike. Darcy's enough. We'll want you to go in alone, recon the area, and shut down their radar and communications. Once that's down, we can call in air support and hit the camp hard. No pressure. And no backup. Get used to it. It's the job. You check out your new home yet? It's got some perks you might be interested in.
Anything beyond the weapons locker? Thought that might hold your attention. It did? Anything else? A computer with a hub connection so fast you'll feel like you're going back in time. What, to the Stone Age? Please. You can do dossier research, encrypted emails, and if need be, access some of the weapons dealers in the area. That'll be done on your own dime, however, using whatever funds you can find in Saudi Arabia. I understand, sir. We wouldn't want Alpha Protocol tied to any weapons trafficking in the Middle East. Exactly. The weapons locker you already found? Help yourself to what's inside. Just be sure to choose the ammo and armor you think suits the mission. When you're ready to head out, just use the front door, or access the missions from the main terminal. I'll have already uploaded all the mission specs to your PDA. You can review them at any time. All right, so is that it? Westridge. Great. Home sweet home. Thank you.